Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match with the new division, 35th Infantry, as myself playing it. And then we're playing against a really good player, Knef here. He's an OG from ST2. He's a top player in the tournaments, and he's also a top player in ranked. He's like, I think, top 20 or something. He's playing 101st Airborne. Anyway, let's go over to Plummets here. I'm going to open up with a whole bunch of recon scouts here with ATGM and also one law. Just going on the right, getting the tower here and going down this main road. And then over here, I got two stingers just to make sure he can't use his helos. We got an IHOC going mid with a mech rifle dragon. Two laws going in here just to make sure he doesn't rush me into the town. And we've got a huge strike force going down into these force right here with two singers, a dragon, an MP to give away, get rid of the National Guard trait that makes all your units garbage. Um, and as you can tell, my new name, new techs are bad. <laughs> Maybe uh, gives me a, gives you a hint what I think about the National Guard trait. We are opening up with two tanks here at the start as well, the, uh, which has four deployment, which is really, really nice. And then a CV with an ITO, a recon with... Really, really cheap recon with actually exceptional optics, the GSR and National Guard Scout. Our opponent here opening up with a just some 50 cal trucks. Uh, you know, he's 101st with sniper, 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 all 50 cal trucks. And Aero Scout going down the main road over here. The CV and a national, another Aero Engineer CV going towards the right side with a whole bunch of forces going for this location here. Guys expecting some type of rush. Three stingers. Three air, um, air rifle dragons that are already manically double vet, which is giving him, you know, he's not going to have a lot of infantry, but he's max vetting here with two recoilless rifle vehicles coming behind those. And then a Milan I took going to center and then a huge strike force of fire team on the left side, two light AA trucks, 50 cals, uh, two air rifle dragons, no three, no four, four air rifle fire team dragons. And that's that is it. Let's kick this game off. So general strategy. For me was to rush down this main road and put a lot of pressure into this location kind of more cqc orientated there's not a lot of long range engagements right here only right here but like it's really hard to keep your stuff along this position without you know being exposed to artillery and so on so really we're pushing down this main road trying to prevent i mean honestly it's it's really good for him to push this way and it's really good for me to push this way so i wanted to stop it i'm also concerned about this location uh that's why it's sending a decent amount of forces just to lock it down with some more guys coming up behind it we want to make sure he doesn't rush into me too hard. I wasn't really expecting anything on the right, and my calculation was correct. He's got nothing over here. In fact, he's sending just one CV. Um, and then we have one unit over here trying to get into cover as we try to run away from the 50 cal and sniper team. We do get unloaded here, but we're kind of in a bad spot. We're going to need to get out of the way. You can see me running away now. All right, to loading here in this key position, which does have line of sight on the upper area just a little bit, but also prevents any rushing. There's an Ivato. We're going to start moving now. And a fire shot on me. I do get eyes on before he fires. Just an F-15 in the air. Do smoke, dripping out the missile. I'm gonna keep moving forward, move the tanks back. Stingers are here now with another fire team dragon. My toes now in position as well. Kill these 50 cals, which are 30 points pop. You know, kill a couple of those, and the I toes already paid for itself. Unfortunately, we do lose line of sight. And we're getting our CV into the zone now. Firing at one of his decals over here. These are 25 points. First kill goes to us. These are little, like, really weird 50 cal vehicles that are really cheap. 25 points. There's a huge force, though, on the left side against me. And he's starting to probe over here, and I got eyes on it. And so I'm retreating deeper in. And we're going to buy some flamethrower troops to help out in the situation. And now we kind of see what's going on here. We're pushing along the center, and he's pushing on the flanks. Of the center position, which is not really the most ideal for me to kill this recon there. Does have a sniper. Ito's putting down good work on me. Umv is trying to move up to give these guys a better trait. Does miss a shot though. And decide at this point, I think, to retreat, not to move forward. Uh, but now these guys having the MP here, 2v1, not going to go well for him, even though he's 65 points. It's another hit again, but no kill, no dice. We're being overwhelmed on this side by all these squads. And similarly, he's pushing across the open here. And we're seeing a wave of first. I'm buying some tanks here to deal with this on the side. Buying two uh, with the M60 National Guard, the better version. And we have a CV given that extra veterancy to try to, you know, get rid of at least or mitigate the disheartened trait, which is really brutal. Stress units take more suppression in combat. It really does make a huge difference having that trait. And getting rid of it is really key with the MPs. As you can see, we're moving up MPs here. 
And we're going to slowly buy another ito here to put in this location and cover this uh, spot. Little bird's moving in. We have to back up now into better cover because the little bird will annihilate us. We don't have any AA close enough to get any hits in. We have an Ito still up here looking for a kill. Almost got a hit there. Not quite. No dice. Damp another wave of air rifle here. Double vet. He's got a lot of veterancy here. Got some supply coming in here. I'm going to shift this IHawk momentarily. Because I see that he's kind of bashing through my line and he's going to get to it. We're buying in response. We're buying an MP, two Law National Guard with two flamethrowers, a new unit. National Guard Engineers, 12-man squad with a flamethrower and a lot of <laughs> medium machine gun and some grease guns. Which I think is a World War II gun. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the grease gun is World War II. That's how old it is. Maybe, maybe even predates World War II. This is where the big moment's going to be. I'm going to try to counterattack these two positions here. The armor is going to be key to decide who wins on the left side. And these infantry are going to be the key to winning who wins the right side. Uh, we do kill the little bird here with our iglas, giving us a little opportunity, repairing our armor. Uh, but these guys have a lot of firepower with 50 cal and the M240. All of a sudden they're opening up. Stun the one, he misses. Now we stun the other. Now they're both routed. Being annihilated here. These aren't cheap either. I mean, they're 40 points a pop, killing two of them. You know, it's 80 points there. Free, and the whole line's collapsing. We stunned him. Now I can't see. Now he's getting all... Things are going bad for him. Over here, we do lose one of our National Guard troops. We do get the flame troops in, which are the ones that matter. Now he's going to have a big problem here. The flame units are going to start firing on him. And we have the MP trait here, which is taking away the disheartened trait for our units. And now we're moving up our tanks on the left side, and we're going to move up the CV here to give him an extra veterancy to kind of make it to two vet. Which I think is really going to be key here to winning these engagements. See how fast those National Guard annihilate these guys. Seeing the Blackhawks moving in here. These are pretty expensive squads. 60 points. Moving against the National Guard Iglos. But we are being overwhelmed here. I'm going to buy some reinforcements momentarily for the center position. We're going to continue to move these guys up. He tries to land his helo here for some reason. <laughs> they are a rifle dragon. Just going to get annihilated. The National Guard rolling, moving around the side now. Moving these guys into the zone now. Flames. We're moving, we're moving a CV up too in a second to help out. He's got a CV in here giving him veterancy. We're using our helos. National Guard. Cobra here with rockets. A lot of rockets. And we're going to start just setting up a defensive line here. Trying to probe a little bit. He does have an Apache coming in. F-15s now. Holding around once more. We're trying just to maintain the defensive line here. We're trying to break him here. We're trying to be overwhelmed by the amount of forces in this location. The amount of veterancy that he has. Uh, we do have another wave of, of two more National Guard engineers coming in. Sadly, he is getting some AA now into this position. Even with the veterancy up here, we're not doing too hot. We do go down. I did rotate my tanks over to the other side to help out. We got a roll on IHawk in mid. Backing these guys up. And the patch is coming in. Bring up two infantry squads to assist. It does have 155s now. Aiming at my Ito. The armor is now over here helping out. Trying to lay in some shots. Make it a little bit more even. Make a huge fatal mistake here, driving down this road. Really exposing myself to Humvee here for no particular good reason. Lose the Ito and lose the uh, roll in here. Some bad micro there. We've got some new troops coming now. Trying to hold the line properly. You can see that all now it's all on him because the left side's been pretty much decimated from him. He's not gonna be able to probe anymore. And he's actually pretty thin over here compared to what I have. Um, but the key now is just blunt this assault, and he's wasted a lot of resources doing this. And I'm, I want to fight him in this. This is actually the perfect ideal. I don't wanna really want to open up the front yet on the left side. My mindset is yes, let's fight in here with my good elite CQC infantry. Let me wear down 
his deck, he has double veterancy on all of them. I knew I would have more availability than him at this rate. I, mean, I haven't even seen any units yet that come around, come in that one vet. So, <laughs> I mean, a double vet means you're going to have less stuff. So, and I'm going to remove the CV out of the way. As you can see, I'm like, realize at that moment, like, probably should keep these open things open. Keep buying two roll to the left side. Artillery is coming in, trying to hit me, but I'm moving my positions. Ashgar Law with a CV and MPs nearby, making these guys double vet and lose a disheartened trait. Makes them pretty actually. These guys are really nasty all of a sudden. Double vet, no disheartened. That's actually really scary. Even a triple vet squad's gonna get smoked. You can see the flamethrower is just annihilating. He's trying to re rotate guys to rearm. But between all the wounded troops now. I'm looking to get a sniper now. Did you kill it with the law? I believe I have some mortars coming now. I'm gonna try to smoke push in this location. Artillery is aiming at me. I'm shifting buildings though, constantly trying to move up. Engineers. Can I use a CV on the front line? Putting down the flames on him. There's some Apache coming in here now. I didn't like this. I'm immediately backing off. <laughs> LGB's coming in here. Right away. Couldn't see a CV there. This is F-111. This is the better version. This is the version that can kill anything. I think he did lose an Apache maybe on the left side. F-15's coming in here. I'm looking forward to this. Immediately evac. I'm like, I have so much AA right here. He is dumb for flying over me. Somehow he gets away with it, but... <laughs> he is wounded for a while, at least. Got more National Guard Engineer Flamethrowers coming in to replace the ones we've lost. I'm moving up here. He does have an M1 IP coming in now. But oh, we're doing good work here. Almost killing that. I do see him moving in here. I'm like, alright, let's evac. Just lose line of sight. Not gonna give him any easy shots here. LGB is gonna come in for his tank. He's not gonna be able to get away with it in time. Just smoked. And this is a better LGB. It's not the uh, Eighth Infantry one. It's the uh, Sud version. Looking for another kill here. Like pretty deep into his lines. I realize there's no real AA over here. Shifted, didn't shift my eye hawk in time to lose his supply. He is pushing through right now on me. <clears throat> I wasn't panicked. I felt like I was training pretty well. Trying to find another target. F-16 is coming in here. I'm going to go for the Apache. I noticed he didn't have a lot of AA. I'm going to go for the Delta Force. Apache goes down the F-16. Then I get shot down from... F-15. I do have a lot of AA. I do shoot down his F-15 in response though. I'll take that trade. Killing Apache and F-15. And our LGB gets away easy. We did kill the Delta squad as well. We've got some fresh flame troops here. I'm starting to smoke push here. Kills one of my units with the Ito. I was very upset about that. Get a revenge kill though. You get an F-15 here. Wound it. Just started to push out a little forward too much. My tank over the other side. And now we're going to start probing the center here. LGB's coming in, going in for the air rifle dragon. These squads are expensive. They're 65 points a pop. Losing them is pretty costly. We come back around. We can go for the sniper team now and evac. They can blind. Batches are moving on the left side, doing good work. Backing off my tanks now. Does get a nice king kill on my roll on. Should be moving them. Shouldn't be like this stupid at this point. F-16 is coming in. I was going to go for the Apache. Decided though. F-15 is more important. He's coming for me. I may as well go for him. And sadly my IHawks miss and my Roland misses. We wound him pretty badly. He's going to get away. Um, but really matters the Apache, which I can't see I don't think at this point. Nope. I'm flying back to my side. So I know it's over there. I'm smoking over here. I'm going to try to CV cap now. Moving the center. 
threatening him. He's pretty much broken through this location for now. Uh, buying some reinforcements now to try to alleviate it. But I wasn't too concerned. I was like, alright, he caps this. Like, what's the big deal? Like, he needs to... He's trading too negative over here. I have a lot of error investment right now with LGB, so he's going to have more guys on the ground, but I'm putting him, putting down the hurt slowly with more and more kills, so I thought, like, yeah, just... We'll do a slow roll back here. I'm going to cap this zone to delay him. He's moving in the CV now. We got a huge wave of reinforcements. Two dragons and MP and Law. You can see me now into the zone. Being into the smoke. I'm gonna unload the squad. He does capture my he <laughs> my helo. Loses uh this truck. He does get away though. Evac my fighter. Batch is trying to move up a little bit. I'm gonna evac though. Doing his CVN now. LGB is looking to get on the kill now. I'm looking for him. Keeping my stuff in the rear. We're gonna push from this angle. And I know he doesn't have a lot of AA over here, so he's gotta be very careful. He's gonna decap me over here. He's gonna go plus two in a second. He's got two new dragons here, pushing here. See, he's bringing everything very vetted. Buying my first two tanks here in the center. For ERA tanks, more of them. See his Delta. The Delta are really nasty, the sniper rifle. I was like, alright, let's get rid of that. And these are not cheap squads, 75 points. There goes the Delta. We do see an F4 Phantom coming in, though. He's got to know I got a lot of A. I'm keeping my stuff way in the rear. I'm not going to give him any chances here. And we get a nice almost hit there, but not quite. You get a hit almost there. And I'm like, all right, he's going to try to fly over me. I'm going to go for it, though. Let's go in for the air rifle here. But we miss line of sight. We're going to peel to the left so this fighter in the rear doesn't get me. And then I go for this air rifle dragon. I thought that was CV. It wasn't. So it was just the air rifle. <laughs> so I do evac there. Before he can do anything, I have two aircraft. Does get a nice hit on me though. I was a little mad about that. S16 comes out though. Another LGB though coming out. Got two of them, so no big deal. We're gonna start pr pushing forward now. And just pushing out in the open. The nice can kill my IHawk. He's gotta be very careful here now. He's only got. Two line infantry and one's wounded. And one's a CV. I do fire at his CV there. I get line of sight. I actually kill both his line infantry. I come over here, fire one more shot for evac. I miss this one, but I actually hit the one behind it. And we do kill the Apache as well. And now we're going to evac both. This whole line's collapsed now. CV's ready to go in. I felt pretty good right now. I'm like, alright, he's gonna go plus 100 on me, but... It just wipes his entire force right there. And we do see now a whole bunch of healers moving in. I'm gonna move these guys up now. Was a little slow to it, but... There goes another stinger here, which is a <laughs> triple vetted stinger. Moving these up, he's going to be able to land them, the AT4 squads. Really good squads, 13 men. But uh, I'm not going to let him get his Chinooks out, which are expensive, 50 points a pop. So I definitely want to get those kills. I drop my smoke here, move a CV in the zone again. You can see him losing all of his Chinooks there. No, those are. Losing all of them, that's like, what, like, 100 points right there, losing two of them. You don't see him pushing here. I do have an Ito, though. Kills a Humvee. Now we're going to move these guys up to start probing. Just buy an M1 IP. We still got both our LGBs alive. They're just one of them is repairing. 
One of them is just rearming. ET4 is moving in. Gonna catch me off guard here. I was not ready for this. F15 is coming in. He's got more aircraft. Build the Humvee there. We're gonna move in here now. Let's get a nice hit on me. TV's in the zone. Got a CV back here. <clears throat> He's gonna break. I'm gonna break through right here now. He's got nothing left. I forgot to smoke here. I'm, I'm gonna lose this Humvee. I really shouldn't have. I'm gonna back these two tanks up. Rearm them. Bring up reinforcements to the left. Getting these guys in the building. I'm gonna start probing here now. See what's going on. He's got three squads. That's it. Smoke something in a little late. But I was curious to push through here now. Definitely should have played a little more aggressive. I thought maybe he had some squads in these buildings, but definitely didn't. <laughs> now we're pushing here. I'm going to move up my Cobra in a second. He does have two F-15s hanging out here. I can't really move out in the open here because I got two tanks. Moving my A back as well. The squad versus all these, not gonna go well. It's like a 4v1. Gonna get routed. The squad's taking a pounding right now. See a whole bunch of fire teams coming in now. Probably running pretty low on in infantry now, 20 minute mark. Got my recon plane coming in. I was hoping to bait one of his F-15s with it. Maybe make him fly over my center line. And I actually do bait him. I don't know why he did this. Sends an expensive plane here for an 80 point plane. Flies right over my line. And we almost got him. It almost worked. We do see his tank here now. I need to get an LGB out here. It's not willing to make the crest here. Does it slope? You does see there's a lot of armor in there. Let's lose some mortar. We're pushing through here now pretty well. Bring up a command tank. We're buying a couple tanks for the center position to push on this main road. These tanks are going to start shooting down the main road. The stingers are back here. But this these guys are getting cut out in the open here. Looking pretty even. I mean, we're trading so positive, so well right now. And we're still not kind of, like, we're not winning. I think this is why 35th. It's either 35th or 101st of the worst decks. I think 35th is. LGB's coming in here. I was thinking to go for the Abrams. Get a shot off. Get a clean kill there. And he does shoot me down, but I think that's worth a trade. And we wounded his aircraft. Shoot down one of the Phantoms. And wound the F-15. And shoot down the F-15. That was definitely positive for us, killing the tank and everything. Way worth it for us. I'm going for this DAP here, I really need to get this rid of this. F-16 comes in. It's a clean kill. Killing out now, evac'd it, but fires a shot at close angle. Killing the little bird. <laughs> LGB is looking for kills here now. I make a huge mistake here, fly I think right over his line for no particular reason. I'm trying to peel out to the right. I'm able to do it in time. I'm sort of still pushing down this road. Find another IHOC here as well. We're shifting the position. Now I feel comfortable pushing here. So this big blob. It's like, let's start putting down rounds on it. LGB out. The rest on low cohesion. Delta's being exposed. I'm looking to come back around to kill the Delta. I'm trying to probe here as well. His line's kind of collapsing over there. Fifteen's coming for me though. <laughs> so I'm not gonna give it to him. We do get a nice hit on that fifteen. He's not dead, but he's wounded. Got my CV tank hanging out in the rear now. I'm driving down the middle. He's kinda patchy. I don't have an F-16 ready at the moment. 
So I'm gonna fire one more shot here, evac. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this rearm. This thing's out of ammo. Can't even fire right now. <laughs> I do know he's only got an Apache at this point. F-16 AT is going to go for the kill. We'll get a clean kill to F-16. That's an alternative fighter, which is really nice. Dual purpose plane. Let's kill another one of my AA pieces, though. I'm not ready to push now with both my armor, now that I know he's got nothing over here to shoot into me. I'm going to start pushing down the center again, instead of a defensive line on the right. You got this area kind of locked down for the now. You got two tanks pushing down this road as well. So we're pushing down both roads. I don't have a million CVs though. You got four pieces of AA coming as well. You got a CV right here. Got nothing to stop me. I'm just driving. It does buy an Apache. CV's going to get in the zone though. Tank's ready to stop and shoot. Get a clean kill there. Ito is looking to get a kill here as well. So I really want to kill that CV. You can see me chasing it. Do something with the CV. Misses his Ito. Now I'm going to start moving here. Move the CV behind cover. I know the CV ready in this location. Find this corner. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> Two tanks for snare rifle. Law. Not going to happen. It's gonna go down, even though he's double vet. He's gonna run out of rounds before he can do anything, really. Law does not have great accuracy. On low cohesion. He's not gonna run into the zone. We're plus two now. We're now with we're about to be in the plus hundred with threshold, only for a draw. I'm gonna unload these AA pieces now. He's gonna land though. And he does land. And we get a CV into the center position. He's got nothing here to stop me now. I do buy an F-16 for the landed plane. We had a whole bunch of forces coming on the left. But that was it. And that was a good game. I mean, 35th's pretty weak, I think, overall. <laughs> I don't think it's a great deck. Um, but yeah, we did the work there with the National Guard and putting MPs everywhere. When we got the MPs in the positions and we were concentrated, we did really good work. Um, spread out though and one-to-one -one engagements is probably the weakest part of our deck But yeah, pretty much did pretty well, especially with our light tanks We put a lot of hurt down on him losing all these fire teams and the LGBs man losing one two three four five six seven eight squads here and full strength squads and good squads and double vet squads and losing another Abrams one two three Three squads another Abrams to two Abrams to this one Really the MVPs are the LGBs Anyway, thanks again for my match, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, become a channel member, and I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching.